Good evening, Paul Shaw, 6008 Birch Drive, Fort Pierce. Uh, I'd like to comment uh, about six weeks ago, I, I didn't know that much about the 750 uh, issue here. I have um, since then uh, seen it on TV a couple times, watching late night uh, through these sessions, and uh, I basically just want to state that I'm uh, in support of all the people that are here and asking you to, to do the same, what they have been asking you. Uh, I'm really pleased to see that this many people are out there and coming out so strong to address you. Uh, it makes me feel good. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that don't come to these meetings and they rely on you that uh, the proper decisions are made and things go well. And um, what I've witnessed in the last six weeks assures me and gives me comfort, makes me feel good and comfortable that there are people out there that keep an eye on a disclose on what is going on and uh, and that are willing to stand up and fight and speak so uh, I feel good that there's the people behind to to fight this thing uh, on another item I had mentioned one person spoke um, about this wetland wafer here uh, I don't know the people I want to speak in support of this uh, um, request. What I, the little bit I know, I don't know any of these people, I don't know the owner, the developer, I have n no idea, but what came to mind here what is what I have learned that a developer is here to develop, I think, is it 130 units? The proposal actually hasn't been presented to us yeah, at this okay. point. So we're For some reason, the number either it's 30 or 130, but I thought it's pretty impressive that the developer is coming forward to build uh, 130 condominiums here on, on South Beach. I thought that's, uh, that's a pretty, basically pretty good news in this economic uh, climate. Uh, somebody saying, hey, I think I like to build here. St. Lucie County is the right place. This is where I want to build and invest. I want to put in 130 units on the tax roll, support and create shops and, and, and create new residences uh, and, and um, invest money in the lifestyle in, in St. Lucie County. So I said that is pretty positive, you know. Uh, being turned down for uh, having, uh, you know, land that is wet. We have a lot of wet land here all around. We've got land that is wet and whatever the balance is, we have so much environmentally safe land on the island throughout this county. Uh, if there is an opportunity for somebody to build uh, that will stimulate the, the, the economic portion of, of this county, I think you ought to um, really give it serious consideration. Um, if you turn this around and, and suppose this developer or any other developer would say, you know what, I would like to come and build here 130 units or, so, or, so, or 100 on the island, but you know what, I don't think I'm going to invest my money here because I don't think St. Lucie County represents the lifestyle where I want to invest or build um, apparently you've got problems with the Indian River Lagoon. That thing is turning green. It's foaming. Uh, I don't think I'm going to invest money here. I'm going to go somewhere else. I wonder how, how angry you or how concerned you would be about that. So here's somebody that's saying I'm willing to invest. This is the place. We put our money in here at some point. Now we're going to put some more money into it. I think it deserves uh, some serious consideration. And, uh, and uh, again here, everybody can provide input. Uh, this is great. Uh, obviously, if this 750 takes place, you won't have to ever deal with this again because we won't have a word. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Scholl. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh